All right, this is the buddy strap. This is a one-man rescue device that lets someone carry someone on their back and still retain use of their weapon. So unlike a fireman's carry, this carries someone as a backpack. So it allows you to take an injured person, put this harness on them, and then wear them uh, using backpack straps. So we're gonna demonstrate this today for standing position and prone position. First, let me talk a little bit about why you'd want something like this. So in a lot of situations, uh, you have small units operating behind enemy lines who don't have the ability to carry more than just a few injured people because it takes four people, four corners to carry a stretcher. And if you're relying on fireman's carry to evacuate wounded people, that's something that's not very sustainable for, long, for longer movements and is just extremely uncomfortable both for the injured person and for the person carrying them. So this is sort of an intermediate solution and something that's better than fireman's carry because it lets you, again, keep your hands on your weapon and be more upright and more aware of your surroundings. This is something that uh, individual soldiers can wear on their gear and then quickly deploy. You can use someone else's if everyone has one or you can have like one for every three soldiers or one for every two soldiers. And you simply deploy it, you're gonna open it up, put it on the injured person and then put on the injured person because you're basically turning them into a piece of gear. So I'm gonna demonstrate now how you open this up. Um, Okay, now to open it, you're gonna grab it by both handles, front and back, and pull. All right, from this stage, you can take out the leg straps and then open the Velcro here. Now from here, you simply unfold it, then you can take the pads and let it all drop and unfold it from the pads. Okay, now I'm gonna lay it down on the ground and show you the different parts and show you what we're working with. So now we've got it all spread out. What are we looking at here? Here we have straps that go around your legs. Here we have a butt pad, a flap for packing it back up, adjustments for the shoulder strap. We have a sternum strap over here, shoulder pads, and over here we have a marking that shows where you put it on the body, all right? So first thing you're gonna do is take this and fold it. This is now the seat. This is where the butt of the injured person is gonna go. Now, all right, so I'm gonna get started by putting it on this uh, prone injured person. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get the butt pad under the butt, right? So I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get it into position. I can just grab his belt, lift him up a little bit, and get it right in the right spot. Then, I'm gonna take these. Now, these are different colors so that you don't get them confused. So you can take the buckles and match them to their colors over here and now you have a butt pad that's secured in the right spot now this sign over here this white bar tack is going to show you how to put it in the middle of his back under its armpits so this is going to go under the injured person over here it's going to start by putting it under his arms going to lift him up a little bit and get that right over there now obviously in general if you have any suspicion of neck or spine injuries, you're not going to want to use something like this. Um, you're going to need to keep the guy immobilized. This is more for situations where you could otherwise use fireman's carry or where you just have absolutely zero option but to get the person off of the X and somewhere else before you can start treating them. So once this is on here, that's secure. You're going to put these up into his armpit, and now you can sort of see how it's going to work. These are the shoulder straps, the sternum strap over here. You can see how someone's going to be wearing this injured person. What we've basically done is turn them into a backpack. Um, for all you basement LARPers, a backpack is something you'd put extra gear in, not just stuff you take to the range. So you guys in the military are gonna be used to carrying heavy backpacks, and this guy is one heavy backpack. And now I'm gonna show you how you can lift someone either from the prone position or from a standing position. I recommend starting with the standing position when, and then afterwards moving on to the prone position. Now the standing position is also great if you have people who have, say, like a leg injury, but they can still stand for limited periods of time, someone with some other injury. Um, and then you can also do switches between carriers, right? So you can have someone carrying them, and then after a few kilometers, switch to someone else while the person's just standing, and then you just take them off, put them back on. Now we're gonna demonstrate how you can lift someone up first from a standing position, and then from a prone position. All right. Up. Boker All 
right, so now we're going to demonstrate how to lift someone from the standing position. Now I recommend when you're first uh, learning how to use the buddy strap, you start from this position and then after that learn how to pick someone up from a completely prone position on the ground. So from this position, once the person is wearing the buddy strap, person A can simply put on the straps like a backpack, close the sternum straps. I don't recommend tightening them down in the beginning all the way, just a little bit. And put the straps on the shoulders and then start taking up slack. Now as you go, you can sort of move down into a natural squat position and then tighten up the slack as you go. And then once you're there, just stand up and then the person is on your back. Once the person is up, the straps are now in the position. Now the person carrying can adjust these straps and this strap to get it in the right spot and to ease the burden as you're walking, right? So in this, in this situation, it works perfectly because of their height, so the, these uh, feet aren't on the ground. If the person you're carrying is much taller than you and their feet are dragging, what you can do is just kind of pop them up into sort of more of a piggyback position, jump them up a little bit, and then their feet should be up and off the ground. Now in this position, person A is, is free to use a weapon and can more easily transverse the terrain and evacuate. And since the strap is already on the person, if he gets tired, he can just take it off, leave it on the person and someone else can put it on if you need to. So it's, uh, it's already ready and you have your injured person who's now up in the air and ready to get off the X. Now we're going to demonstrate lifting from the prone position. This is something that's always been difficult with fireman's carry because it's hard to keep the person from slipping as you lift them up, right? So the buddy strap keeps the people attached together and stops the injured person from sliding off your center of mass as you get up. Now we're going to demonstrate. Great. First step is sitting down on top of the person. This can get a little awkward, so you guys might want to practice this before he gets injured. You know, just sit on each other a little bit every day. Um, now we're going to put the straps in the right position. Now you're going to close the sternum strap. I recommend not closing the sternum strap as tight as you can in the beginning and leaving that as a sort of adjustment to keep it in the right position afterwards. Now we're tightening the straps. It's very important to get the straps nice and tight. It's like picking up a very heavy backpack from the ground. So now that they're tight, what you can do is you can kind of shift the straps around and then take up even more slack. So you're going to shift the straps up a little bit and then tighten it down even more. The next stage is to pick up the arm, pull it across the body, and then get up in one rolling fluid motion. Now, this is where it's important to focus on leg day. If you guys are uh, skipping leg day, you're going to have a bad time. Person A has free use of his arms, um, and uh, person B is getting some nice up close personal time with his battle buddy. Like any piece of medical equipment, you're going to want to train with it. Train with it with your buddies when you're at the range, when you're doing movements, drills. The more you practice, the easier it's going to be when you're in a high stress situation. The buddy strap is a great solution for carrying a wounded person to safety. It uh, offers fewer compromises than carrying someone fireman's carry and requires fewer participants than opening up a stretcher. It's lightweight and if you're a civilian, it's uh, very compact so you can easily carry it with your gear on a trip and have the ability to evacuate a family member or friend. Long story short, if you're going somewhere with a buddy, bring a buddy strap. It could save your life.